So who else has Piers Morgan made cry on TV? The answer is all of them. Uh, anyway, let's move on to a Gordon Brown's tears. Did they win your vote? This, of course, will be the first time anyone's been able to test reaction to last night's ITV blub fest. Uh, this time last week, I want to know what you thought of Gordon's decision to talk about the death of his baby daughter, Jennifer, just weeks before a general election. And I think it's fair to say most of you were fairly cynical about his timing, but maybe attitudes have softened now. You've seen it, assuming, of course, you weren't watching Great British Railway Journeys, the huge offering over on BBC One. Chuff, 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 chuff. Here's Gordon telling Piers Morgan about the moment he realised his first child, the newborn Jennifer, was seriously ill. Probably after a week, Sarah and I, uh, she was in special, special care. I, I, I turned to the doctor and I said, she's not going to live, is she? And he said, no, I don't think so. She's not going to live. And nobody had said anything about that before, but I just sort of sensed that we just couldn't... So we had a weekend where we just knew that she was not going not gonna to survive. And uh, she was baptised, and we were with her, and I held her uh, as, she, um, as she died. And it was, you know, Sarah, Sarah and I just... Uh, we, we, we found it very difficult because, you know, it was our first child, and she was such a beautiful baby, and you couldn't see from anything that there was something so fundamentally wrong, but she'd suffered a brain hemorrhage, and, and we, we only found out after a week. Now, whatever your take on it, the interview represents a watershed for the beleaguered PM, who has steadfastly refused to drag his personal life, and especially his kids, into politics in the past, which, of course, still leaves us with the question, why now, just weeks before a general election? If Brown... I've thought about, about this a lot in the last week. If Brown had brought his personal life into the public arena from day one, I wouldn't be so nearly as cynical uh, as I am today. But maybe it will work. Yesterday's Independent on Sunday suggests it has that more of you think of him as human today than a year ago. But the bigger question is, will any of this translate into votes? Well, not according to the latest opinion polls, which suggest the Tories have, in fact, widened their lead back into double figures in the last seven days. This marked, despite a relentless uh, hype campaign uh, for the tearful interview. Yeah. Which were you what, touched which... by his tears? Well, I wasn't... I was actually touched... There were, there were no tears, you know. He actually didn't actually cry. He held it back quite manly. It was a very sensitive, um, difficult subject. And Piers kept coming at him and at him, yeah. and I thought he stayed quite dignified and quite yeah. manly, and he, he, he came across as quite an up, upstanding fellow, really. I, so, I which was quite impressed. Which is good PR, good, then, isn't it? Amazing piece of spin. I think it was a triumph. I really do. I think it was, um, yeah, OK, yeah, that's right. He's a bloke. Okay. And, he, and it showed how smart he was. Because I went back and went, oh, OK, this is a really clever bloke here. OK. He's not just... So, um, does that justify breaking his personal moral code, which had been not to exploit his family. Yes. Um, and the part that I always remember is Jennifer died eight years ago and the general election is about 12 weeks away. Yeah, does that... He's, he's got he advisers, he's got people saying, look, Gordon, you know, you've got to show your softer side or, or um, you know, what's the other bloke's name? Davey Cameron, Davey yeah. Cameron running around Nick saying, Clayton. I've got kids and hello, I ride a bike. Who cares? Um, you know, you've got to show it, Gordon. And so he's, he's vowed to the pressure. We, we're in a new age of politics. But it hasn't won, above... according to the polls, hasn't done him any good at all. Well, there you go, because um, that's good. I mean, that's sort of good that, that people aren't voting just because of some PR exercise on the telly. And we've got to look at people's, um, you know, the platform of what they're, what they're promising for the country. But, um, you know, Piers, you know, it's television. He did everything but pick the nose out of his... hairs out of his nose to make him cry. He, it was, um, he really tried hard yes, to make him cry. That's quite a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> nose out, hairs out of nose. Yeah, that's, that's how you, that's how you do it on stage. <laughs> that's how you do it on stage as an actor. If you want to have a, you just, whoa! <laughs> oh, that gets a bit of a tear going, but no, I... I, I yeah. we, we're in a new age. Barack Obama, he did it. In America, he showed a human side, yeah. a family man. And I think there's a lot of um, that issue up, and England wants to know, the Britain wants to know, is, is, so is he a family So you're leading on to then why do we bother with uh, policies, Jill? Why don't we just put people up and see who seems the most nice all-round no, person and vote for them, cos nice guys think... are good? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think, that, um, I think that a lot of people don't vote, and a lot of people who may be swayed by an interview like that wouldn't necessarily vote anyway. So the people who are, and I don't think has he it did, done him. Has I it don't done... think it did him any harm. I don't know whether it's done any good as far as votes go. I think what it has done is showed a human side to him. But that doesn't make me feel any better about somebody who runs the country. Now, if he, if he had decided 
to show his human side from the day he took over as Prime Minister despite receiving no mandate from the electorate. Uh, do you think he would have had... that that would have been a benefit? That if we'd known of him as a warm person, or seen the warmer side... I don't think he's a warm person, he's got a warmer Possibly, side. Possibly, but I, I just agree with Mark. I think it's totally obvious that it's a PR exercise. And, mm -hmm. and I, I accept that because every single day in the papers, whether it's a politician, a celebrity, a musician, you see the PR exercises so obviously in the paper. You see, specifically, you're starting to see tears. And the fantastic thing cry. about politicians in the past is that it was about maintaining some kind of dignity. But he did. He I read, did. I, that's did, the one man. thing I would say last night. I would say I would absolutely argue the point that he absolutely kept his dignity. Yeah. And I'm not, to, I'm not saying that makes him a better person to run the country, but he, he did not produce some sort of act where he wanted you to feel sorry for him. I don't think he's capable of that. I don't think he's the type of man that could try and manipulate an emotion because okay. he seems too real. Yes. You know, he, he can't, you know, like, they were taking the, yeah, the mick out of him about not being able to smile. It's like everything that comes from him is, 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 seems very genuine. Yeah, very... But he's not, he's not fighting that emotion because he's... Because, but he's not fighting the emotion, it's not fake, because what he's gone through is real. But what my point is, is I find, why did he make that decision to bring that story to the public in the first place? Because of the that, people around him? Well, exactly him? right. And what you said about um, Obama, you know, being a family man and stuff like that, he did that from day, from day one. You know, yeah. and he's come and that's the way his campaign has been, whereas this, I just feel, you know, he hasn't really well, given... pointing out, by the way, that Obama's uh, approval rating in the United States is on the floor. I mean, yeah. they, they, in many states, they absolutely loathe him. So, yeah, no, I know. But, you know he had... He had and he's had tough times. Yeah. But I'd have sympathy. Yes. I watched the interview and I did have sympathy for him. I thought, you know, and I thought it was very, very touching and the story was very touching, but he's supposed to be running our country and, you know, yeah. that's not really going to change my opinion about whether or not... I would have liked to have heard a few more and see whether there were any tears involving all the people that die in Iraq or Afghanistan, specifically Iraq and well, illegal exactly. invasion that he sanctioned. You know, we didn't know anything. About We didn't that. learn anything about the consequences of his actions, of his actions as a politician. Exactly right. We only know a little bit about what he is as a human being, and we're not voting for him surely as a human being, no. but as a politician. But then that's, that's surely that's Piers' responsibility to ask them questions. And he I mean, he may, he may well have done it. It's a two-hour interview that had been edited down. Well, then you know he, he, you know he's not in control of what goes out, is he, Gordon? But then did, did you think he had control of the edit? <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, they, they, everybody else they are friends, so <laughs> one would have imagined that they would have discussed the agenda okay. in, so, in some shape or form. But it would have been a nice question after the tears for Jennifer is, how do you sleep at night when you think about innocent lives being uh, squandered on, in Iraq? Well, That's then... a question I'd love to ask Tony Blair. Uh. Yeah, well, I mean, like, like you say, you know, I think we all knew when we sat and watched it, it was not going to be an interview like that, no. because Piers Morgan was interviewing interview. him, so and, uh, I think I'm, we accepted I'm, it was, mm. was going to be an, an emotionally-led interview. Yeah, it feels like Gordon uh, has, to me, more sincerity than Mr Blair. OK, well, that's very Then he's very now made himself a celebrity by going on that, you know, he's our Prime Minister and he's not a celebrity. It just kind of oh. shows the okay, way our world okay. is working. The question, lest we lose sight of it, is whether or not it's going to make you more or less likely to vote Labour. Let's find out what you have to say. Kirsty. We have Elaine on line one. 